All right, welcome back to PSO, so I don't have to make this up for another day. I know I'm tired, but let's get this underway. All right. Actually, I could put this up here, can't I? Can't I? Yeah, I could put that right there. That looks a lot better. Alright, let's do some TTF. Next time I may actually do the caves. I just don't feel like running through them again. <sighs> oh, we'll see. I, uh, I could probably run through them after this. We'll see. I want to. I really do. But I also want to do some towards the future. So apparently they're reworking the drop charts. I don't know why, honestly. As long as they give some good stuff still and make some things easier, I guess. I don't know. I really should bring PSO back, but I really don't have the uh, time now. It's because I stream a lot of other things now, and before it was I streamed PSO and probably like one other game all the time. I really want to play this more often. Maybe I will when I get home every day before my main stream starts. Maybe I'll stream some PSO. We'll see. Maybe I'll... Wow. I mean, I have some really good increased... I feel... I feel good, and I have the... Newman... No. Uh, side of things, but... For the, uh... Forecasts, that also, uh... Drop and increase rare are pretty high up there, so... But yeah, I might stream every day, PSO a bit every day before my mainstream, if that's okay with you guys. We'll see how that goes. I'll probably swap it out for something, and then just stream this on the regular like I used to. We'll see. I plan on bringing in WoW shortly once Dark Souls 1's finished. And then I'll just do a bunch of new, uh, bo just play that game somewhat on and off to complete the trophies. If only I hit him a little bit more. Nice miss. And I 
Egg is almost finally maxed out. Jesus. You should have been maxed out a long time ago. <laughs> what is your HP at? Like zero? Like one? Come on now. Come on, Dargan. You're not even a Dargan. You're technically a Wyvern by standards, but whatever. Lord Almighty, you know how long it took me to get the Masashi or Yamato's otherwise? Not that long, probably like five or six runs, but still. Okay, the amount of rare rate is pretty good. Oh my god. Okay. Feeling pretty lucky here. Got escaped all a freaking rare. And a try rider. Not bad. Scope wouldn't have any buff. But I can probably get a try getting on her sometime. Yamato. <sighs> I do miss PSO a lot. Pika! Hello, Jabel. Jabel? Jobel, I would assume that's how you sp pronounce your name. Sorry if I butchered. Uh. Pika. Yes, Pikachu. Oh no, don't do that stream. Jobel, Jobel, whichever you prefer. Uh, I'll I'll call you Joe Bell. I mean, I don't know if whichever is the canonical pronunciation for how you want it, but shh, cool. Thank you for actually giving me two choices and two actual pronunciations on how you prefer it, and you're allowing me to choose. But hello, welcome. I could get less. All right, cool. Well, anyway, how are you doing, sir, ma'am? I'm assuming you're a sir because your name is, has Joe in it, but I don't want to assume. I don't want to assume people's genders. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway. I'm doing all right. No, this is Affinia. Blah. What? Do I not know my... There he is. I was like, okay, so it's not... Okay, exclamation point PSO. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, you play on Ultima? I... Everyone's playing on Affinia. To me, that's because Affinia is the best one. I've played on all... I played on all... I played on them all. From Sachak to, e to Ultima to Eden. And... I don't know why. Uh, Eden gave me this issue where it would crash every 10, 15, 20 minutes and so I can't play that anymore. Sawtrack gave me the issue where it just would not let me play it outside of taking down my firewall so I can't play that anymore and I don't know if it's alive. I mean it might be but I don't know in terms of people and for Ultima there's probably I think there was things I didn't like about the drops and just the just in general but I played all them all. 
Eden, actually, I got my character to nearly 200, but I did not care for how fast and easy the amount, uh, how fast you grow. I just, I just wanted to enjoy the game that's closest to, uh, console. So, Affinia is closest to console as, as you can get, I guess, with some slight buffs. Sidetrack has people on it, but there's issues with it. Yeah, Sidetrack will not let me play it. In fact, I can't even go to the website anymore. Last I checked, the website just, my computer's like, nope. Sorry, you can't go here. It's all good. But yeah, I like I like Affinia. If you don't have Affinia, I suggest looking into it. I mean, if you care to, it's a it's awesome. Like I just I just enjoy it. And plus, that's where I met a lot of cool people. On me and my best friend play on it, and. Uh, Right now we're just doing some TTF because last time I was trying to go through every area on very hard for everyone just for my streams and that's how I started with my other character, my ranger. And then uh, every other time I attempted to beat through the caves I got interrupted because of internet connection and the other time I went out to dinner for my mom's birthday. And I was like, ah, fuck it, whatever, I'll just just play this, but yeah, if you want, you don't have to. I play on Silver and on DC, so it should be useful. Yeah, that, that's how I felt. I, time to time, I still play console version. I recently was doing GameCube not that long ago, but I did a Let's Play, actually, on YouTube about the, for the GameCube version. amazes me how many people come into my chat just for PSO though it's ridiculous a good chunk of my regulars are all from PSO and I have not seen them in a while so it's you played on I have played on Dreamcast yes thank you for the host zero where's my alert there it is I played since Dreamcast Dreamcast GameCube and Xbox and I've even, I've even played a bit of uh, Fantasy Star Universe um Yo, what's up, Zero? I'm even doing a current run of Fantasy Star, which I've beaten the first Fantasy Star, and now I'm on Fantasy Star 2. I've played Fantasy Star Zero. The only one I have not played is the, the Vita version. Uh, Fantasy Star for the Vita. i played every other Fantasy Star game, including PSO2. How are you doing, man? Uh... Got me that and put in the Yamatos. There's a Vita exclusive Fantasy Star. Yes, there is. Nova, Fantasy Star Nova. Uh, there is PSO2, but there is a there is a PS uh, PS Vita version called Nova. I hear it's bad, but I'm not gonna even attempt to buy it because the Vita is already like long dead, and I'm not gonna buy it for one game. Normally when I buy a console, I have one game or two in mind, but then I ex then I expand. Like with the PS4, I originally bought it for Bloodborne, and I knew I was going to get a bunch of other games. Day one, I already had Bloodborne, I had The Last of Us Remaster, and I had Final Fantasy Type-0 HD, which I'm not a big fan of. But still, I had like three games already. Plus, I also downloaded uh, a few roguelikes, so uh, it was alright. I had like five games upon release of my of Bloodborne. But yeah, like, I'm not buying the Vita just for Fantasy Star Nova. <laughs> I looked into it, and it's still, like, 200-something, at least what I saw on, on Amazon. Maybe it's a little less than that, but it was around, like, 100, 200-something dollars, plus the game. And I'm like, no thanks. Great design. Too bad it died. Well, I'm glad you're doing good, Zero. We're just doing some TTF. Talking with Joe Bell here about uh, Ultima and and Dreamcast and stuff like that. My buddy Zero is actually my best friend. I got him into PSO back on Xbox. Well, he, he started on the Xbox days with me. And he's been into it ever since. This was back when we were in high school. We're entering our late, we're at the, we're at entering our, the end of our 20s. We're about to be 30. Speaking of which, my birthday's coming up. I'm about to be 20 fucking nine. Still playing this game, and I'm 29. 
I've been playing this game since Dreamcast. Not I, not when it first came out, but around that time frame. So it's very early. So I've been playing this game for what, 18 years, 17 years ish, however long it's been around. I still own my Dreamcast. I still own the VMUs. I still own both version one and two. It's nice to see another Dreamcast player, though uh, I never was able to experience PSO when it first came out, but when I got my Dreamcast... I mean, I didn't experience it when it first came out. A friend of mine showed it to me, and then he hooked me up with online. And then uh, I've been playing it ever since. But either way, yeah, I've been playing it for several years. And it is nice to see other Dreamcast players. There's quite a few that I've met on... Not in, not in stream specifically, but on the... on. PSO itself here. I've met a lot of people who played on Dreamcast. You got your Dreamcast online in 2017? I didn't know you could play Dreamcast online still. I know GameCube could actually connect with Sawchak, but I could, uh, I can't do that because I don't have the modem for it and I don't have an Ethernet cable. Yeah, there's like 20 games with Pistol. Holy shit! I mean, I know GameCube can work with, uh, Sawchak, but I don't have the cable for it. Wow, that's awesome! I would love to experience the classic Dreamcast version again. Without actually playing it off an emulator. I'm sure people could probably get the emulated versions to work. Silver Silverhead's actually a server I've never tried. I should look into it. I know I'm a big Ephinia player, but another server wouldn't be bad if a lot of people play on it too. I could probably That's interesting. So there's another server I've never heard of. It's for the original PC, GC, and DC. Nice. Wow. I have not oh, I forgot about the PC version. I played that version as well many years ago. Ugh. Not many people on it. That sucks. I have not played the. I cannot find the PC version for the life of me. I've been wanting to play the PC version too, just so I can have fun, just goofing off and cheating and a bunch of other crap. I don't know why. I remember when I played the PC version, I had a bunch of like cheats and shit going on, and I was warping in and out of boss rooms and. That's all I wanted to do. However, yes, I could do sandbox mode, but with the Dreamcast, with the PC version, all I had to do was load up a table and just choose what weapon I wanted. With the sandbox mode, you actually have to like type in codes and shit or whatever. Yeah, no thanks. That's basically no different than using a Game Shark. <clears throat> well, it wasn't just I wasn't gonna really play online. I was just gonna have fun. I don't legitimately. I don't, I don't cheat when I play games for myself online or just for, like, a series that I'm doing. If I want to just cheat, I would just do it for myself and it would just be, you know, for fun. It wouldn't be serious. It would just, just maybe test some builds without the use of sandbox mode, which this version has sandbox mode, hardcore mode, and normal mode. And I don't really care to try out sandbox mode on this because uh, I've already tried it and... The way you make weapons is you look up like these codes and then you type them in and you deposit a certain amount of money in your bank or whatever it is or something like that and I just, it's, it's a long process. No different than using uh, Action Replay. Does that crossplay with DC? Ah, uh, that is awesome. Finally got DBO installing? Nice. Yeah, I had a good session on DBO. I'm actually, uh,. I've gotten a lot farther in that game uh, than I did when I first played it on the original servers. I just made it to the third times, uh, the fir third time warp, which has the 23rd martial arts tournament. It's nice. I'm almost, I'm not as high as a level as my main character was. My main character was in his 20s, but I'm close, I'm 15. I met a dude who's going to teach me how to fly, though. Yeah, we're also a big fan of Dragon Ball. What weapon am I using? The Vavine. Vavine. 
A lovely double saber for a lovely woman absorbs TP from targets. Someone actually gave that to me? I forgot who. It's probably one of my regulars on Twitch. I forgot who now. It's been a long time since I've played this game and uh, I have an issue of forgetting names. It's a really good double saber. In my opinion, it's probably the second best. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's better than it, but it's the second best one I've used, aside from the double cannon, that is. At least to my opinion. I love the double cannon because it holds more m memory to me than anything else. Whether it's actually stronger or not it has no bearing to me. I also got uh, the third form to the Yamato or to the Masashis. I found these actually. I just noticed everyone's playing a Dreamcast now. Of course, when I'm away from my console, that happens. I'm glad. I'm glad PSO is so alive. Regardless of what servers are not active as active, it's alive. This game is my childhood. It's the reason why I love this game more than PSO two. And any other Fantasy Star game. And I'm giving I'm giving the classics a try again after many, many years of trying to beat those games as a, a as a teenager. As, as a young teenager and and I just I got lost and now I'm giving it a full on try again and I finally managed to beat the first one. Yes, I used somewhat of a walkthrough through the rest of it. Because of how freaking convoluted that game is. But I'm loving the second one. Looks super weird. I don't find anything wrong with its looks. I just find that it's too... I don't know, it's it's more MMO-ish, so they have a lot more to, a lot updates and more, like, like, you know, quests and, like, I don't know. It's just too big for my for my taste. It doesn't look weird to me. It looks fine to me. Someone found a CLJ sword. Holy shit. That's a rare-ass weapon. I have no problem with how it looks. It's just... I just... MMOs, when they come to, like, really big MMOs, while it's nowhere near to the st size of, like, you know, Final Fantasy's MMOs or anything like DBO in general, those are, like, one of those, like, open-world MMOs, but it's still, like, it's, there's a lot to deal with to get, like, certain things or you make your character super powerful. This game is more of, like, a, oh, well, you fight monsters, you get shit, you upgrade your weapons and whatnot, that, there, you level, fine. PSO2 is great, but it bores the hell out of me after about a few months of playing it. This game, while I do eventually get bored of it and take time off from it like I did, it is my mainstream franchise, and I can never get bored of it in the aspect where I'll never I'll, like stop playing it. Like, I've been playing this game on and off for my entire childhood up until this point. Me and this guy, Zeros, he used to spend the night over my house. Days at a time, weeks, months, just playing this game on Xbox. That's how much we loved this game. And I'm glad I got someone into it. I even, I, I even got my ex-girlfriend into this game, but she couldn't really play it because of her computer lagged hardcore with it, apparently. She must have had a very bad internet, a very bad uh, internet, and very bad laptop to not be able to handle this game. So this game does not require much. My old Toshiba, which was a shitty, shitty ass laptop, played PSO2 fine. Yeah, PSO2 is part of my schedule on Sundays, but I'm taking it off to... I'm swapping PSO2 out for Batman Arkham Asylum, because I'm kind of getting bored of PSO2. Once Zero wants to play it, when he returns to his streaming as well, we're going to co-op, because we do a lot of co-ops. If he decides he wants to co-op that with me, then we can definitely stream PSO. DVO works? I'm glad. Yeah, it should work. It works for me. Now, every now and then, you may get some, like, stutter. I, I don't... I believe that's the game side of the stutter, because there should be no reason why the game should stutter for me. It's not even that demanding. P 
PSO2 is way more demanding, and there's like no stutter. And this, and I'm not talking about like lag. It literally just like freezes up for a couple seconds, and then and then resumes, and it does it like every couple minutes. I'm just gonna let you know that gets kind of annoying after a while. If there's a way to fix that, that'd be great. Uh, I gotta continue hitting him more. Move! Ho oh. ho! Man, I miss the strength. I miss my strength of my ranger. Even though this character will far surpass my ranger. I mean, I'm one, what, 50 something with her? I went from literally, what, 130, 120 to 150, all doing respective tomorrow alone for fucking PGF and still haven't found that shit. One and, what? 16, no, oh, something like that. One in 64 drop rate, my ass. I found a red ring in under 10 tries, and that's a much higher drop rate. Alright, hit me, whatever. Alright, dickhole. Who's gonna crack your face off? Ah. It's good to know that your health bar isn't broken. Well, the health bar on the right, that is. So what character are you making in Dragon Ball? You making a Saiyan? Or are we just gonna meet up if you make a uh, Majin? I wanna become Super Saiyan. <clears throat> Plus, I prefer f I prefer punches and Kamehamehas and Super Saiyan transformation, which is something I've never experienced. Kamehameha is cool. I just gotta make it stronger. Pretty soon I'll be getting the Wolfbag Fist. And then I can die. Oof. Because I'm Yamcha. Goodbye, dickhole. I knew it. PSO is PSO, man. PSO is the game that brings me, brings me all the love. I thank you guys so much. Five viewers for the viewer count, and several of you guys that are in here and that are able to chat. Hello, everyone. Oh, that's a new name, Diablo uh, 2734, as well as Joe Bell. You guys are new, newer, newer names. Everyone else is pretty much a bot, but hello, guys. It's good to have have some new people in here as well. I would have joined tonight, but just getting on and waiting for the wife to bring me food. I know, I hate those bots, too. It's all good, Zero. I wasn't even... I was planning on just getting off of after DBO because of how late I started with uh, my dad's car issues and me getting home by like 5 and relaxing uh, and not streaming until like 7 because I got on at 6, I set up and whatever. I was probably planning on not streaming, but I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll do it. The bots don't bother me, it's just, it, it messes up you know, the count and everything. It just it just annoys me. Yeah, we could play on Saturday. At what time? 
Because then uh, I can always come home immediately after work and stream Legacy of Goku then. Just to get that out of the way for a few hours. Because they're always all, they're also always in my chat. Like, they're always here in the list. But they, like, I don't know. It just annoys me. Someone found a handgun Milla? Wow. You're free all day? Alright, then I'll come home and stream Dragon Ball Legacy of Goku 2 for like two hours or so. And then, uh... Ow. After that, we can get on PSO. Which, by the way, and I don't know if you've watched any of my Legacy of Goku recently or the last stream, I'm, I'm right about to face Cell with Vegeta. I'm on the island training. Get my ass kicked by alligators. I'm trying to grind him. But that's where I'm at in that. Ow. Why does the mines suck? I love the mines, but goddamn, you're brutal. Ow. Get back. I'm all slow. Ugh. Can we... I'm dead. Oh my god. It's because of the slowdown. That's why I hate the mine. That's why I hate the enemies sometimes. Fucking brutal. Jesus Christ! Another br How many did I find of those already? I found like s five or six of those. Volume okay. Game audio okay. You guys didn't mention it, so I assume it's all good. I just want it to be perfect. I hope I'm sp I'm trying to speak a little louder too. Even though that's hard for me. I'm not naturally a loud person. This is still my inside voice. If I wasn't able to hear me through my own Turtle Beach headset, I would be speaking even louder. Don't heal. Rude. Rude, gold member, rude! Ow. Stop! St Ow! I gotta look up with these badges. Oh, proto regime gear, huh? My god. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how long this is gonna last, but I'm feeling freaking goddamn lucky. Like, it's not just that. Drop rate is like 130% or something. Also, Zero, they're they're changing up drop rate, uh, drop charts and probably a bunch of other things. I don't know what they're doing and why. You may want to look up information more on that when you have a chance so you can see exactly what they're changing. Uh, oh, God. Just so you can be up to date what's exactly happening. I'm going to look up eventually. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, my forecast... Isn't even that great. Personally, all I have is one mark. The Newman mark. However, my luck, I feel good. But when I logged in, I had about 130% drop rate and about 100-something percent regular drop rate. So 130 rare drop and about 100 drop. So, like, this is, like, what, my fifth rare, sixth rare, on top of finding a Tri-Grinder and a Scape Doll earlier? Sorry about the music, guys. Two more items and we can get uh, get out of it. Okay, guys. So who are you making in DBO? Or what was your plans to make? 
as your main at least for the stream because I'm making another Saiyan for the stream but I'm going to be a female Saiyan for our co-op you made a Saiyan nice yeah I'm going to make a separate character for our co-op so we could start from the beginning and work our way up that way I don't have to like so you don't feel like you're power leveled that way you can enjoy the game plus then we can keep it separate I can make a separate uh, a separate uh, playlist for people to watch and uh, I'm gonna make a female Saiyan we're gonna name her Snoo Snoo <laughs> I haven't had a blade dance in a while I'm glad to have that I'm a rare collector and I love it what do these do? I really gotta l currency accepted by scavenger I gotta look what those badges do Things I normally don't ever get because I don't have, I never, like, I mean, these are uh, private server-based stuff. Ah. Wait, did it just say its regeneration isn't functional? Oh. Protect a screen that stimulates healing. The regeneration isn't functional. GG. Man. No, I don't have a proto gear. All I need is the Gobuba Claw. Why is it why is it always the last one I find? I already found four of those. I just found a Yamato. Uh, if anyone needs a Yamato, I have another one. I found so many rares already. <laughs> in le in a half hour of playing. I mean, technically I've been streaming for 40 minutes, but I've only been playing this for about 30. 10 minutes off, so 10 minutes less. Are you serious? And I've already found, like, s nearly 10 rares, almost. I don't think I've ever found that many rares in literally 3 hours. Sometimes I find like one or two rares in a three hour, four hour session. It, it depends. Lower that defense. I need as maximum power as I can get. Alright guys. Pop out. Ugh. Ugh. Do you have any plans to make an other characters that Saiyan is going to be for our co-op? Or are you going to do a solo stream of DBO at all? <clears throat> do you have plans to do any solo streaming? We need to get you affiliate. I need to be able to support you, and since you supported me enough, plus since you're my friend, I need to support you for being my friend for so long. I need to drop you some bits. I mean, if you ever feel like earning some bits to drop, you don't have to pay. You can always go watch ads, and you'll, you'll earn bits for anyone who cares. Feel free to drop some supports. Love all of you guys. I'm trying to come up with some future ideas for, for the... For the fans and follows and subs incentives 
So right now I don't receive too many to really do any of that because I don't get a lot of people despite having almost 140 follows. I'm trying to come up with some incentives in the future. Giveaways and uh, other things, I guess. I don't know. A lot of that is hard for me to deal with because I'm not used to that kind of stuff. Like my SS Super Sage and Blue Khalifla. Sweet. Well, I'll be a female then. You're going to make a Khalifla female in DBO? Nice. I mean, if I actually cared for Kale, I'd make her. And Khalifla's my bae. Why do I say that? I hate that word, but yet I use it. I can't say she's my baby. I mean, I love Khalifla. We'll both be Khalifla. Shit, I can make Kefla. That wouldn't make any sense, though. But then again, that game has that game deals with time travel. It could be, it could be, it could be a Kefla from a different universe timeline. She's your yes. She's my Danish word for shit. Yes. I just don't. I just can't say a character is my baby. That sounds even more weird to me. She's my bae. Khalifla is bae. I hate that word so much. But yet, I only use it when I'm talking about characters. Now, when I were to have a girlfriend and say, oh, hey, bae. It's like, just... Yeah, so there you go. She's my waifu. She's... Her in 18. Ooh. Well, you can be Khalifla, and I can make Android 18. There you go. They're both my waifus. Android 18 was my original waifu, and then uh, Khalifla appeared. Now she's my waifu as well. I can't... I don't know who to decide on who I like better, to be honest. 18 doesn't really... hasn't really done much lately, and Khalifla hasn't had much airtime, but she's shown a lot of... a lot of love <clears throat> and a lot of promise. 18, as a mother, she kind of... Yes, I understand, she slowed down a little bit. But during the Tournament of Power arc, while she's taken out more people than, thank God, Tien has, and helped Krillin take out a few people, and took out some of her own, and had some good fights for against herself, and she also brought, you know, she saved 17. She really did not do as well as I was hoping. I mean, in my opinion, she still did worse than Roshi. Roshi did very well, taking out a bunch of people back to back on top of keeping Vegeta in safe, and uh, 18 killed, knocked out how many people? I can think of the girl with the barrier. She helped Krillin beat the blind dude. Which was still Krillin, though. He's the one who actually defeated him. She helped against the gigantic robot. But did she beat him? No, that was 17. I can't think of anyone else. <laughs> Super Saiyan 18. Yes. I would love to. I mean... If they ever made Pan older, I could say she's my baby, but... She's still young, and... Even in Z, she was only four. She's, she's adorable. And yet in GT, she's what? Like 12? I mean, I... I don't know. I would make Pan. She's probably another female I actually cared about as a character. But when it comes to Wai Waifu, that's someone that I would... I would love to be real. Yeah, she was still... Waifu are characters that I wish were real. I need to find my Khalifla. Someone who can transform into a bulky female. <laughs> Videl, like, yeah, I forgot how about. I, I did forget about Videl a little bit. I liked her back when she had the pigtails, though. Still adorable, and even now. Yeah, she's 
she's not a she's not a great character by any means. She hasn't really done much, but she is she is awesome. And then again, 18 hasn't done much either, but I still like her as a character. Probably the only android in that arc that I actually cared about in the android arc. 17 at the time was terrible. Did not like him as a character at all. Yes, yeah, so the pigtails did make her look adorable, didn't they? One thing I did like about Videl, though, is how when Gohan almost got conned into cheating by Barry Khan in that two-part episode, and she's just like, okay, I know you're fucking bullshit, and get out of my fucking house. I love that Videl's not like, oh my god, Gohan, you took a, you have a picture of you and a girl kissing, go fuck yourself. No. She actually knew that Gohan would not do that. And plus, despite being a mom, she would still kick your fucking ass. And she could fly. The only freaking human character besides, you know, the main cast that actually tried to fly? A normal human being, not a freaking character with energy. Even Roshi can't fly, and he can shoot energy. I find that weird. <laughs> he also says this during the arc where he's training uh, atop Corrin's tower right before the tournament began. He's like, oh wait, I can't fly. I was like, God damn it, Roshi, what the fuck? I keep... Don't know why I'm destroying these guys that way when I should be shooting them. Whatever. Ow. Oh, come on, I was stun locking you. There we go. Yeah, Khalifa Vidal, 18, probably my top three females. Femmels. Can't forget Bulma either. I mean, I love Bulma. She's a she's a great character. She does a lot. Even in even now. Yeah, in Z she kinda slowed down on it, but she still did quite a bit. Super, she came back. Like, she did a lot in Super for for a character who has, who can't really do shit in terms of like fight any anybody, but if it wasn't for her, none of what actually happened it would have happened. A good chunk of shit. The whole time travel, the whole telling thing with Trunks. Once he got his time machine destroyed, she wouldn't. They would not have been able to do shit. You would not have been able to go back without Bulma. And like the whole. The whole thing with her developing that the the time machine energy, that blue goop, they would not have been able to do anything in the first place if Trunks never received that, if they were making that, because he was going to run out of fuel. And Trunks, yes, and Mai. Yeah, future Mai. I never really cared for Mai in, in Dragon Ball, but Mai in the future world, I believe that, I believe she's younger. I believe she's the same age as Mai was in Dragon Ball, so yeah, I guess you could say that Kid Trunks is a, is a gilf. And then she's a pedophile. I guess. I mean, she can't really, she's not really in love with him or dating him, so, but it's just weird that she's going along with it. I guess she likes the attention. Also, they're living with Trunks' family because they're, they're poor and they're freeloading. Which, they don't seem to have a problem with that. Future Trunks loves... Yeah, she loves... I, w I don't... I want to go so far as to say that Future Trunks... Future Mai does love Trunks. I don't know about past Mai. 
If they do hook up when uh, Trunks becomes, you know, 18 like he is at the end of Z or whatever, how old he is, uh, it's weird because she'll be like, what, 60 by that point? She definitely was in her 20s at the start of Z or at in Dragon Ball. And she's it's been probably a good 30 years if you want to add up all the time skips. She's got to be around 50 now. 60-something years old. Goku and Vegeta, Goku and Krillin around 50-something. Vegeta's got to be, like, around 50, 60-something. Vegeta, I know, is older than Goku. Bulma's apparently 38. If Goku and Vegeta are pushing their 60s, Bulma's older than Goku by about three years. How the f*** she's still young as hell? She's just like her mom. Does not fucking age. Cause you notice that Bulma 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 aged and then de-aged. I don't know if you've if you've been paying attention to how she looks now. Like, actually paid attention to all her all her changes. Dragon Ball, she was sixteen. Dragon Ball Z, she was, you know, progressing through her twenties and thirties. Towards the end of Dragon Ball Z, you know, after Boo's defeat, she was like forty. She was a middle aged housewife. And then now in Super, yes, it digresses back to the end of Boo uh, during that time skip before Oob but she looks even younger mm, I know her mom is like a never ending never aging apparent robot that everyone uh, says that she, everyone theorizes that Bulma's mother is like a robot or an android that her father built. Which then, how is Bulma alive? I don't know. Maybe she was modeled after the real mother. Akira Toriyama could easily just come out and say, yeah, um, panties, as what he would have called her. So we now have, while that's not her actual canonical name, if he were to have named her, her name would have been Panties. To go along with the naming convention. So yes, panties. And funny thing is, Bulma's doesn't they technically do not have a last name, so her name is just Panties. Bulma's name is not Bulma Brief. It's it's funny how in the dubbing error that they say that, but it's just like panty. Modeled after the modeled after her late his late wife. I can see that. An android, or a, or maybe she's also a cyborg, like 17 and 18 are. Which is also explains that 18 and 17 were kidnapped when they were teenagers. So, they have not aged. Which is why 17 made the joke, I'm 17. Because that's probably the age he was when he was taken by Dr. Giro. I don't know. They're around 17 and 18. They were delinquent teenagers when they were when they were kidnapped. Yeah. Krillin's dating a girl who just barely became legal. Or married. Canonically, she's probably much older than that now, but she's still younger than Krillin by a long margin. I don't know how long ago it was when they were taken by Dr. Zero and how much long how much longer how much long he had them in their captivity. But they don't age anymore. At least I don't think so. I know they could still breed. As Seventeen has a child, as well as adoptive children, and she has a, uh, has a kid, but... Then again, in GT, she was older. That's GT, though. Still, she has not looks... Eighteen does not look any older. No, there's Seventeen. And it's been long time and they're not Saiyans yeah 17 and 18 they also have kids yeah they can they can reproduce Dr. Zero didn't take that from them they're also still physically 
humans, most for the most part, they are still alive. They have hearts. They can die. They can go to heaven or hell. They're not, they're not, you know, they don't have that sense of, oh, well, if I die, there's, like, nothing is going to happen. I'm not going to pass on anywhere. They still have human souls. Oh, yeah. Why well, would if he made Bulma? Then explain why Trunks is a thing. Also explain why Bulma aged. If she was an android, Bulma wouldn't have aged. Same does not apply for Bulma. Yes, but you just said, Webin, if he made Bulma and Miss Brief, or panties. Yeah, but the theory is that Bulma's mother is not a cyborg, but a pure-on android. No, but it was... I was just being specific. You said made. Android and 18 and 17 weren't made. They were, they were turned into cyborgs. That's my point. Bulma's mom is... They're theorizing that her mo her mother is a Puron android, which is why she never ages. 17 and 18 probably don't age because they are part cyborg. They're cyborg. They have enhancements that probably take away that. I don't know. It's also poor writing and laziness. It's it's a Kiratoriyama. I don't know. He also he also forgot about launch, which is why she's no longer in the series. Literally stated by him. He also forgot to draw tails in because... Or he also stopped drawing tails because it became a pain in the ass for him. He also made Goku go Super Saiyan because it's easier on time constraints. And it just gives them the sense of a power boost. Laziness. A lot of things in Dragon Ball came out of laziness. While that is fine, it's just it happens. And sadly, he didn't put a lot of effort and in thinking into Dragon Ball. A lot of things came out last minute. A lot of old women look young. Bulma? Or Miss Brief? Mrs. It's not even... I don't even know why we... Why that they messed up that bad into saying that they have a last name. When most characters in Dragon Ball do not. Vegeta doesn't have a last name. Goku doesn't have a last name. No one really in Dragon Ball. Even... Even... Mr. Satan. His last name is not even Mr. Satan. His name is just Mark. He doesn't even have a last name. Even Videl mentions this in the series. Most people don't have last names, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why the, the dubbing error. But we've known them for as br as the Brief family all our lives. I'm still going to say it. Just like how we're still going to say Mr. Satan, despite his name being canonically Mark. Hercule got his name... Hercule, Mark, sorry. Her Mark Satan, he got his name from, I think, a, a dojo or something. I don't know if it was a dojo. I don't remember if it was a dojo or he like went to a restaurant or somewhere. He ended up... It was like something Satan. Something to do with where he got his name. He ended up getting into a big fight. Got his ass kicked and vowed to never face anyone stronger than him again. Hence why he always pretends that he has a stomach ache whenever he's a, a t uh, against a tough adversary. That place was called Satan something. You can look this up. And that's where he got his name. That's where they call him Satan. Videl's last name is not actually Satan. Her name is just Videl, and that's it. Same thing with Bulma. Her last name is not Briefs. People got confused because Dr. Brief, whenever you refer to a teacher or a doctor, you refer to them by their last name. People got confused when they did that and assumed that Dr. Brief was his last name, when actually, apparently in Japan, they refer to them as their first name when they call them by that. So his name is Brief, which go which makes sense because it follows the naming convention. Trunks, Bulma, which is, which is Bloomer. Then there's apparently Panties. There's Tights. Brief is no exception. Another type of underwear. Or undergarment. Uh, 
I don't know. I'm thinking too much into this, but it's true. Oof. Even though yeah, it's all dubbing errors, there's a lot of dubbing errors. Mrs. Briefs. Jesus. Thanks for dying, finally. I should have, uh, shifted and debut debutted. Uh, 196. So close yet so far away. I'm gonna also need to turn this mag into a Varaha. Ooh, a mono grinder. Well, oh, is everyone getting tired? I'm just noticing my number went from 5 down to 2 eventually. But I noticed Jabel's still here. He just he's lurking. I'm getting starting to get tired here. Probably gonna get off shortly. It's, I did not get much sleep last night, it's already going on eleven. Probably beat falls and get some rest for the night, because I got a long day at work. Uh, I also went to bed at like two. I I got off at like one and didn't fall asleep until two. And then I gotta wake up at six every morning. I go to work by seven, and then I work eight hours. And I'm walking around constantly on my feet. I'm a lot more tired now than I was at Chick-fil-A. I'm constantly moving around on my feet and I wake up so much damn earlier. I may not be doing as much physical labor as you when it comes to you landscaping shit, but I'm moving around constantly on my feet, pulling along a, a pallet's worth of boxes that range from, I don't know, over 100 pounds, well over 100 pounds, a couple hundred pounds at least. All day. The only breaks I get are three fifteen are three breaks, two fifteen minute breaks and one half hour break, and the two fifteen minute breaks are still on clock, so it's not like I clock out or anything like that. That's about it. I have a few cigarettes and that's it. And it's not like at Chick Fil A where I get to work at freaking eight in the morning work for an hour, take a freaking 30 minute lunch or 30 minute break and then go back to work for the rest of the day. Cause yeah, cause yeah, you know, that's terrible. No, how about not? <laughs> Fucking Chick-fil-A. Don't know how to freaking dish out breaks. They make me take a break an hour after I get there. It didn't always be that way. At first I took a break around like 11 or 12, but that apparently was around the time when we were getting busy. So they changed it and made me take a break earlier. Like, yeah, I, I don't get it. I didn't care. I personally just said, fuck it, whatever. I just took it and ran with it. Now my breaks are a lot better organized. I start at seven. My first break, my first 15 minutes is at, at, is at 10. My lunch is at, is at two, is at yeah, 12. And then my last break is at 2.30. That's a lot better. A lot better structure. Plus, the people are nicer there. The amount of people I've met there just through Dragon Ball alone is insane. There's so many nerds there. There's people that love Dragon Ball Z. There's people that love Naruto. There's people that love Star Wars. I met a streamer there. His name is Alex. He was actually the guy who joined in our Discord the other day. Just Zill is his name on uh, Discord. I met him at work, and he streams. Um, it's awesome, yeah. I've seen so many people walk, or a few people walk around with Naruto shirts, Dragon Ball shirts. It's, it's awesome. Pokemon as well. It's ridiculous. 
even a few girls too. Well, too bad I'm shy and not really open to talking to women all that well, and I'm not good at it either. I'm also not really here to. I'll eventually let it come to me. I'm just like not in a rush, but I'm also shy and bad with women. Also, a lot of these girls are young. I mean, they're not that young. You need to be at least of age to work here at, at, the, at the Sears warehouse or whatever. But still, like, judging by their looks alone, I guarantee you they're at least 10 years. <laughs> they're at least close to 10 years younger than I am. Which, yes, 18's fine, but I'm not going to date a girl that young. They don't know what they want. They're too young. They want to experience that, that life. There's probably a few girls my age there, but they're already taken, if anything. No rush. I'll find somebody. I'm just awkward with women. I don't really know how to talk to women. Personally, I'm just bad in public as is. I really only know how to make a conversation when it comes to something that I know of, you know. When it just when it comes to just strike up a random conversation about other things that isn't anime or gaming or just being with friends it's hard for me to really just talk that's why I'm so silent outside of streaming apparently don't know why whenever I'm with my family if you were ever to be around my family you'll see what I mean like I'm always most of the time the quiet one and uh, like whenever I'm not with friends, people I'm comfortable with, people who talk about gaming and stuff like that and anime and things that I know of, I'm always the silent one whenever I'm around my own family, unless, you know, it involves me somehow. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one here, Joe Bell. I'm glad that I'm not the only awkward one here. But yeah, like I'm usually the silent one. But the reason I'm talking now is because one, I have you guys here. Two, this is... I'm streaming. I'm trying to create a conversation, whether it's on or off topic or not. Most of our topic has been about Dragon Ball and Pokemon, so... Or Dragon Ball and PSO. Now I'm talking about... Now I'm talking about some personal information. It's good to throw that in there, too. And there's gonna be a lot... If you watch more... If you if you join in every now and then, Joe Bell, there's gonna be a lot of streams where I don't talk all that much, though, because... Whether or not I don't know what to say about the game, or I just don't know what to talk about. Like... When I did DBO earlier, I was kind of like doing, talking about like doing quests, and that was about it. I wasn't really saying a lot. Here, I'm actually going into some personal, personal life stuff. Issues with pe I just also have an issue with people in general. Like I, I'm one of those guys who doesn't hate people, like talking to people, but then I just, I just don't really like to interact with people, all that much. I know some people who are like, oh god, I hate people. And it's just like, I get what you mean, but like, yeah, I just don't really like to interact with a lot of people. It's weird. I have a weird. I'm weird. Streamed PSO a couple of times, and without people chatting, it's so hard to talk about stuff. It is. Yes, it is. That's why I'm also glad you guys are here. Like, half the time, while I'm not a small... Well, yeah, I am small, but I have 130-something followers, and I've had several... I've had at least a good five or six people chatting at one time. Lately, my streams have been dead. So, like, maybe one to two people at most, and then occasionally, most of the time, it's zero. So, it is hard for me to just talk. And I've been doing YouTube for, like, seven years. While I have stopped now, I have gotten used to talking to myself. But back on YouTube, I was doing Let's Plays, and I treated them as a walkthrough very different than streaming while I can do that on streams I, it's hard for me to do that when I play a game for like three hours at a time I'm here to more have fun with the game than I am to do a, a, uh, uh, a walkthrough playthrough or a stream on it uh, let's play this is this is not so much a let's play walkthrough any longer. While I will give tips and be like, oh well, this is where this item is, or that's where this is, or this is what this is how you get such thing. This is how you get these achievements. Da da da. My let's plays all nearly focused on a guide for some games like Dead Rising One, 
Complete walkthrough. I showed off as many achievements as I could get. I didn't complete the 100. I didn't 100% the achievements. But I showed off most of them. And including 100%ing the achievements for Dead Rising 1 that I never gotten on my main playthrough to begin with. Five and Seven Days of Survivor. But I've gotten every other achievement on stream that I can recall. And stuff like that. And for Dark Souls, I would basically show off me getting everything. How to best ways to like fight or level up, even though I'm not great at those games. Stuff like that. But streaming's a bit different to me. I don't treat it the same way. While I do want to show a lot of 100% off, because I'm a 100%er for most games that I can do it on, it's kind of hard to do it when you stream games for at least two to three hours at a time. Because most of my videos are about 30, 40 minutes in length. A lot easier to show off as much as you can and try to edit out what you ne don't need. And I'm too lazy to edit out my streams. That's too much. In that's too much to watch. You're quiet. I noticed. I noticed. Yeah, I noticed that with some of your streams, though. Yeah, you are pretty quiet. It's okay. You're not used to it. You didn't do YouTube for like six years. And even even then, I'm still bad at talking to myself during my videos. If you guys go and check out some of my videos on YouTube, exclamation point YouTube, by the way. Um, you'll, you'll, you'll get a link to my channel, uh, Jobel, if you care. I do a lot of, I've done a lot of videos that aren't actually, I, of games that I haven't even streamed yet, which I will be streaming those games as well, if you want to just see different types of content. You'll see that there's a lot of videos where I don't talk at all. Like, hardly any. The most I'll say is, oh, well, this is where this is, this is this boss, and this is da 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 it's just like, eh. 155, 150 subs, and hardly any of my videos have broken over that. A few of my videos gotten well over a thousand and maybe a couple comments, and that's about it. If I'm lucky, and those are old videos. Some of those old Pokemon videos, those are lucky to break over to that a thousand mark or more. I gave up on YouTube just because I ran out of, I, with work, it became tiresome to come home from work record a few episodes, have my Elgato fuck up on me, and, you know, videos not wanting to work right, videos being, like, slow as hell. Like, during the video, uh, during editing, some of my videos would, like, lag poor as hell when I would en when I would edit them. Thanks for the follow, Jobel. Enjoy your dancing, Rappy. And it would be hard as hell to edit them with how slow it's its viewer would be, if that makes any sense. And then Elgato would cause a lot of corruption issues, so I would have to re-record the video, which is why I started streaming Dark Kingdom Hearts 2. If you go and watch that stream, it starts off and it starts off like after like the stream starts at like episode 10 and beyond because it started corrupting around that point. And it was just painful. So then I started streaming and then it was either okay, I can come home and edit record like three or four videos edit them put them out put one video out like every other two days sometimes a video a day which is my goal video a day and then I would come sometimes occasionally put out a video like the next day afterward because I would it would my video program or my editor program would sit there and like take forever to render the video or sometimes not at all so I would have to end up rendering or I would have to I would end up losing that data end up having to render the video twice and edit it twice. Ugh. Sometimes even in a different editor entirely. It just became a hassle. And then I was like, you know what? It's either I stream or I record and edit. I'd rather stream. I can still put out videos on my channel without actually having to release them or without actually having to edit them. So now my videos are all pure 100 raw, raw footage. It was rough, yes. Some days I would stream, I would, some days I would record like three or four videos and I would literally not be able to get a video out for like a couple days because A, I'm tired from work, I'm trying to record or I'm just lazy and I don't feel like recording and I feel like just playing a game for myself and I, or the editing is just too dang tough for me. It's, I'm not good at it either. 
and I don't feel like sitting there wasting time. It would literally take a couple hours just to watch every video I have or, you know, and then another couple hours to edit them. And then by the time it's done rendering, it's the next, it's, it's like 12 a.m. Or more. Depends if I even go to bed by that point and I wake up and just to see my video editor tell me, sorry, video failed or whatever it gives you that error message. Only for me to sit there and have to render it before work, come home to the same message. Yeah. That's why sometimes I never released a video on time. I got tired of it. I was like, I'm done, YouTube. Plus, they also took away my monetization. Not that I was making any money from it. They, they took that away from any small channel. I said, fuck you. They also kept giving me copyrights for every fucking thing. And they still are. And I'm not making money from them no more. And they're still giving me copyrights. It's just like, I understand. I'm playing music in my streams. Occasionally, I'll have a music in the beginning of the intro. Occasionally, I have music playing in the background while it's very low. Uh, I do have some anime music going. And it's just like, okay, copyright strikes. Yeah, but I'm not making money. I understand there's music, but what, what ad revenue am I making? Because then they say that they, any ad revenue that I get is going to the, the person who made the song or whatever. It's like, what avenue, ad revenue is on my videos? There's no monetization. So I don't get why I'm getting copyright tricks. It makes no sense to me. While there are people, I'm not sure if they get copyright strikes, there are people who have released entire videos of actual, like, music videos on their channel. Not that they probably make money off their channel. They're fine. Some probably get taken down, but, like, I have all these copyright issues. Like, every other video is a copyright. And then they started breaking down on, uh... Certain types of video games and scene and certain types of like names like whenever I do Dead Rising Just because it has dead in the title and it involves a lot of like, you know fantasy death A lot of those videos got copyrighted because of the word dead or you know, whatever that was uh, Dark Souls too because it has the word dark in it occasionally got issues Google just thinks the future is in the shitty AI is doing all the work. Yeah, that's truth. <laughs> Dark Falls, you should be dead by now. Yeah, you look nothing like your PS Fantasy Star counterpart. You're much more blue and bigger and uglier looking. I like your form here. Oh, I love that heartbeat. Plus, you're much you're much more of a pain on Fantasy Star than you are here. <laughs> like, if I wasn't if I mess up more than two or three times on Fantasy Star, like I did when I first lost against him, I it's over. Cause he does a lot of damage and he hits multiple times. Then again, a classic RPG is a lot harder. I would assume than an MMO variety boss, but I could be wrong. Most MMO bosses are mob bosses. And raid bosses. This guy's nowhere near a raid boss by any means. However, as a kid, this boss used to be fucking tough for me. I remember when I first saw this thing, I was like, holy shit. This thing's awesome. Still is to this day. It's probably one of my favorite. It's my favorite boss for episode one, I'll tell you that right now. Bring it back full circle. Don't kill me, Falls. Be a good man. I think I'm gonna go. See you later. Hey, man. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the for the chat, for the lurk, and the follow, my dude. Thank you for the support, man. Uh, if you have a Discord, feel free to stop by and hang out and chat with a bunch of people like Zero and myself and stay in contact. I wanted to put that on there before you left. I completely keep forgetting about Discord, and I was in a I was also talking, but. Have a, I'm going to be getting off here shortly myself. But yeah, join the Discord if you have one. If not, there's always a free phone app for it. I have two channels, but only one really matters. It's just, it was actually me and my friend made, me and my friend made one each. They're technically one is mine and one is his, but we both share it. And one of them actually started to grow. Yeah, one started to grow. 
And uh, we originally just used it to chat with each other and stream. And then... Because uh, we made one at the same time. Yeah, and then... Uh, one of ours were growing with our fa with fans, and then uh, one of them kind of just got abandoned. Essentially, it doesn't really matter. You can join them both. It's just uh, the one that we're talking about specifically that actually has any people in it that actually matters more right now is called Brett and Tom, which is uh, the one you made actually, I believe. I think mine was BNT 890. Yours is Brett and Tom, I believe. I could be wrong. Either way, it don't matter. I just decide to link them both. It gives us more more room for uh people. Instead of everyone crammed into one channel. While I do prefer it that way because it's easier, but... Now, just worry about killing myself. Could have ended it right there, but I'm... Hey, no problem, man. I also have another channel dedicated to people who want to play co-op games. Ah! See, that's cool, too. We That is nice to have. Well, you could make a... Not so much another Discord channel, but like a chat within your channel to dedicate it to just talking about co-op games. We should do that. I don't know if we have one. Cuz I'm going to make I'm going to make a new chat or not really so much a chat, but just a a room called schedule and I'm going to post my schedule there. So that way no one really has to type in exclamation point schedule to see my Google schedule. You can all see my schedule on Discord, but yeah. We should make one called co-op games, one called like anime chat. I know there's one called Gaming Chat, PSO Chat. There should be one called DBZ Chat or whatever. We should just have a bunch of separate ones. Just just for all of us, too. I made it after our BNT channel got overrun by... Ah, nice. Well, overrun. Yeah, he did kind of get annoying, but he's gone. I don't know why he was adding people. Originally, it was me adding people adding fans from our channels and that was it only me and you can add people to it we're the admins of that channel of those channels despite me or you making one of them we're both the leaders of each of the channels we yeah we both have the same rights for either channel despite who made it we're both even we're Either way, once you start getting bigger too and you start send, you start typing in Discord, whatever, join the Discord and you start adding people to the main Discord channel, as long as it's you, I don't care because we made it. It was originally just meant for me and you. I was never expecting Discord to pop. I'm happy it did because that just means that people enjoy enjoy our streams. Yeah, he was adding randos, randoms. I know. Oh, I know he was, and I I was coming close to just blocking him straight from then on. It wasn't until he bitched at me and blocked me and said, you know, blah, 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 that I'm an asshole that I said, fuck you then. I was getting ready to, I already talked to him. I was like, dude, you need to stop with all this. What is this? And I couldn't really get a hold of him. He was hard to talk to until that whole shit happened. Then I blocked him. And then it's been chill ever since. Speaking of all the randoms and spamming, I noticed the bots were, are, have been gone. I haven't noticed any of those dumb bots lately, which is good. I don't want to jinx it now. I don't know where those came from. Like, I, I was looking up things on adding your own Twitch bot because I want to add my bot to the channel so I can, like, you know, people can do commands in Discord. I can never got it working. I was doing things, trying to figure out how to do whatever, and that's when all the bots started appearing. Coincidence? I don't think so, but still, it was around the same time that I was doing that. I don't know. I don't know how to do C-sharp or anything like that. If anyone knows how to do that in the future who's watching this, feel free to help out. I would love to add my own bot to my channel. Tyrus Bane, I don't know if you can do that for me. 
Yeah, ad bots. Yeah, and if Tyrus Bane, if you're listening to this ever, I don't know how often you watch my videos. I noticed you have a bot in your channel that is called uh, Capsule Corp Bot. You've done it, I think. I would like to have your help. He's the one, Tyrus Bane is the one that added, uh, he added the Pokemon bot, the one where we catch the Pokemon. He also added in uh, that Twitch Live. I don't know if you noticed that where it says in Discord where it says I'm streaming under the Twitch Live channel or uh, chat. He added that as well. <gasps> Did you? Is it actually comfortable to play with a controller? Because I've been using mouse and keyboard, which is no problem. Because the last time I used a keyboard, it was really... It was, it was fine, but it was really hard to get used to. Nice. Oh, that's good. It was really hard to get used to with how many different buttons there are. I'm starting to get fine with keyboard and mouse controls for MMOs. If you can use a controller, that's fine. Sweet. Alright. I'll try it out, but if... Like, MMOs to me, after na after I've been playing Bless, it just... I don't know. I don't know. I do want to use a controller for it. It's just... With how many different buttons there are for DBO, I don't know how hard it is. DS4 Windows, nice. You mapped it with DS4 Tool? Nice. Oh, you use the controller and my key items usable. In you use the controller for what? Movement and attacks? Or you just your keyboard is all your 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 attack uh, trees or your you know all your attack at, on your whatever. Movement and attacks, okay. Okay, so your your attack tree, or whatever you want to call them, the pallet, the attack pallet is all on your controller. The only thing you use keyboard for is your items and consumables, basically going your inventory management, equip, like... Okay. So you equip everything on your controller. Like if you're gonna equip some gear, that's on your controller. If you want to attack, that's on your controller. Movements on your controller. But if you want to use an item such as a healing item or whatever, I guess is all on your keyboard or things like that. Interesting. So how do you map different parts of your freaking palette? Then there's so many different. You're gonna have so many different moves in the future. It's nothing like PSO's palette. Even that's too big. I don't know. I'm also going to be playing World of Warcraft eventually, and that's got a lot of freaking attacks too. However, I yeah, it is hard for me to, uh, it, it is hard for my hands to rest at a good pace of hitting the one, two, three, four keys or whatever, especially on uh, when I was playing Bless, because those were involved with Q W E R T whatever. It was even worse. Half the time I kept hitting the wrong keys. So DBO is a lot more comfortable. Yeah, keyboard to me is getting more comfortable, at least with DBO. Bless, it was, I was not getting, I was getting a little better, but I was not getting used to it at all. Like, just resting my hand there on Quirt, Q Q W E R T to attack. And it was not comfortable. I kept hitting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I prefer the numbers. It's a lot easier. Because in order to move, all I do with keyboard and mouse for movement is I hold down W and hold down right, uh, right click on the. I just hold down the right click button on the mouse. You hold it, and basically you control which directions your guy turns, and your W moves you forward. You don't hit, you don't hit ASD at all. To move, you just hit W, hold W, and hold right click, and that's it, and that's how you move. And then uh, V is to like pick up all your items. You know, K is for skills, I is for inventory. Those are pretty much easy to remember. We'll play. 
Uh, if you want to play PSO and DBO Saturday, we can. Do you want to come up with a schedule that we're going to use? Because if we are, I want to get it consistent. I want to get it posted in Discord. And I want it... I want to get it structured. If not, if we're just going to stream PSO, DBO, PokeMMO, and whatever else, we should at least get that on Discord anyway and find out what times and what days we're going to stream once you return. Because we kind of kept saying, let's do a schedule, but then we never adhered to it. We adhered to one game. Like, I remember we were like, okay, we're going to do Devil May Cry, then we're going to do Dead Rising, or we're going to do this, or we're going to do that. We never did. We just did one game, and it was just like, oh, we'll do this tomorrow, or whatever. Because then we got to decide on what days and what times we're going to do them on top of my schedule as well. Especially with Kingdom Hearts. I may have to change up my schedule a little bit to accommodate you now. Which is fine. It's no problem with me. I have no problem accommodating your return. That's what I've been waiting for this entire time. I know there's going to be a bunch of changes involving, involving when we in our co-op. I just got to figure out what days you're able to, what days you want to spend with the family, and what times you're able to stream and how long till. I don't aim to go anywhere over midnight or 1 o'clock. Okay, 1 the latest, like I did yesterday. 1 p.m. most likely the latest, which is why I'm getting off here. But uh, I don't really want to go that far because then I'll be not wanting to really stream because I did not technically want to stream PSO. I wanted to just go to bed. But I said, fuck it, I'm not making this up. I'm just doing it. I didn't want to make up PSO because I hate when I miss a stream day and I make up a game. Sometimes I end up not, and it ends up just going unplayed for a week. And there's another person's name in here that I've never seen before, Jay Lee, with a lot of Ys. Welcome to the channel. Feel free, guys, to join the Discord. I am spamming it again. Everyone who's new here. Uh, also check out my buddy Zero's channel. He will be returning to streaming shortly. He's, he's done some stuff like Monster Hunter and played a bunch of co-op stuff with me. He also has his YouTube channel linked there, which I'm not sure if you're using still. But he's done a bunch of co-op stuff with me with Dead Rising and Monster Hunter and a bunch of other stuff. PSO, PSO Blue Burst, PSO 2. Don't worry, some of those are returning. Dead Rising eventually will return. PSO 2 will eventually return. Monster Hunter will eventually return. Whether it's PC version or PS4 version. It's up to you. I prefer the P PS4 version, but the PC version is something I want to just have fun with. I'm not going to do anything crazy. I might just beat the game, and that's really about it. Devil May Cry. We're going to be co oping Kingdom Hearts. I know that's going to be a big game for probably a lot of people. If anything's going to draw in a crowd, it's going to be Kingdom Hearts 3. And PSO. I mean, look at that. PSO brought in how many? How many freaking? Yeah, PS4 Monster Hunter. That's fine. How many people PSO just brought in for me? A few? And a new sub? Or a new follow? I think Kingdom Hearts is going to bring in a lot of people to both our channels. Especially when we especially when we stream, we should also cuz that's why I also say do solo streams of popular games like PSO and Kingdom Hearts. So if you ever stream Kingdom Hearts solo, you'll draw in a lot of people as well. I just don't want to I just don't want to overshadow you too much. So like whenever I get people, I also say go check out my buddy so that way you get love too. I'll also forget to mention that if anyone wants to watch us both. If anyone wants to watch us both simultaneously, Cadgar is basically multi-twitch, but better. Because you can add up to four channels. Cadgar. Cadgar is awesome. If you ever zero, if you ever wanted to watch multi multiple channels at once. Cadgar is where it's at. It's a website, not an app. All you do is go onto the website, you type in the stream name of the person you want to watch, you add it, and then you repeat that with multiple different people. 
So if you care about that zero, feel free to save that, whatever, bookmark that, because that, that's something awesome. That's something you may want to do if you want to watch multiple, watch both of our streams. If you have a, unless you have a better setup with, you know, having my screen and your screen on the same, like, divided into four, unless you prefer it all one big window. I prefer it divided up, because that way it's easier for me to monitor both chats and videos and everything. But yeah. Let's see. Striking Vikings doing World of Warcraft. I'd say we can go raid him shortly here. Uh, Tyrus Bane is streaming? Oh, no, he's not. I was about to say. I hardly get... I hardly catch him streaming. He's usually streaming a little before or after me and already off well before I finish. Well, that's another follow right there, though. That makes up for the follow I lost. That puts me back at 134, Kurt. Yes, it does. Almost 140. I'm almost 10 followers off of my YouTube channel. Well, almost. I'm at about 155 on YouTube now, but still. And that shows how badly my YouTube channel suffered. Despite not losing much, I struggled around 140 to 150, and I still have not hit 200 on that. And I'm still active on YouTube, I just don't record anymore. I still post. My videos still go on YouTube. Now, I don't know if they like how often I post, because I post two videos on YouTube daily. Versus, you know, once every few months. Or once every, like, couple days. Oh, you're right. Okay, fine, let's go to Japan. I don't need to be that level of stupid and assholish. I don't need need I don't need to be the Paul family to get popular. First off, how are those guys even that popular? They're so rude. They're so freaking rude to their fans and their own friends, people, just the public. How they have and their their main fan base are kids though. But still, come on, man. You're treat you're you're these innocent little kids who believe every freaking thing you say and you have them wrapped around your finger because they're children. And their parents are okay with this. Like they're okay with them watching vulgar people like them. Probably not as much ever since the whole suicide forest bullshit. Anyway, before we get into a freaking Jake and John uh Jake Jake and John Paul. Jake Paul or the Paul family issues. I'm going to get off for the night. You hit me up on Discord or ch in text. Let me know on what's, what days you plan on streaming with me, uh, what times. And uh, give me a good heads up on that so I can change up my schedule around that because I'm actually going to be adding in the schedule into Discord. I'm going to be making a separate like little channel uh, within our channel. It's going to be called it's going to be called schedules. Hey, Joe Bell joined. Good. I'm glad he joined in. But yeah, I'm going to be making a uh, schedule channel within our with within our main channel that way people can just look on discord and be like okay here's his schedule and then I'm gonna post our schedule as well but just in case in case you don't know what I'm gonna be streaming you don't have to ask me what I'm streaming you can just look at discord and be like oh he's streaming this today at this time <laughs> oh man the public chat? Oh. It's interesting. It's weird because we mainly use the general chat and no one really uses the public chat. Holy shit, that chat's dead.
Not really. It's, it hasn't been active that while, but the general channel is where everyone's at. Hey, it's growing. That's, what, three or four more new people now? Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to add the schedule into the Brett and Tom channel. It's going to be uh, a normal text channel or whatever. We need to get more rooms. I'm just going to call them rooms. We need to come up with some more rooms. We have PSO chat. We need deep Dragon Ball chat. We have my, sh sh uh, my stores where I basically, if you ever come up with a store, if you want to sell merch, um, I post links to both of those. I have the music channel and the Poke MMO chat. Yes. Pokemon chat in general. It doesn't have to be Pokemon MMO. We have Dragon Ball chat. We have gaming chat. Anime and gaming chat. Which Poke MMO or Pokemon can go into that. We have Fantasy Star chat. We have apparently a we have a sub only chat which is unused, but that probably will change unless I get subs. Twitch clips, which a lot of this is unused, but I still want to get more to it. We have the going live section, so mm, I think once you start streaming, it might post you there. So far, I'm the only one, but I hope uh, once you start streaming, it'll post you there. We have the giveaway section, which will be used eventually once I start doing giveaways. We have the role-playing server? I, don't, I do remember adding that. I just don't know why. Whatever. Uh, I'll probably just take that out. Huh. Eh. We could probably just turn that into some anime thing. Kenny was role playing a lot. He could probably do that there. But yeah, we'll make a Pokemon chat, Kingdom Hearts chat, Dragon Ball chat, which we have. Gaming chat. I should. I'm gonna hit you all up tomorrow, guys. Feel free, everyone, to join Discord. Uh, I'm gonna link my Twitter. Everything is also below on my Twitch page. YouTube, Zero's channel again. Uh, for anyone who wants to play PSO. And PSO2. Feel free to join any of those. Uh... Check out the schedule, which is going to be posted in Discord tomorrow. I'm going to change up some things in Discord for tomorrow. Add some new channels. Just make that list bigger. Give more people to chat about things. <clears throat> Have a good night, everyone. Thank you all for joining. Tomorrow is uh, Dark Souls 3 and Final Fantasy. Have a good night, everybody. See y'all tomorrow at uh, 5 o'clock. I aim to start around 5, 4.30, 5 o'clock now. Instead of 6. I just feel like that's a little late because sometimes I don't always make that. So 5, 4.35 ish. Gives me about an hour to relax. Take care, everybody. I'm getting to go to bed now. Let's go raid real quick, though. For everyone who cares about World of Warcraft. I want to send them some love. Zero, once you stream, if you stream after me ever, or whatever, if I get off early, I'm definitely going to be raiding you if I ever see you solo playing. You better stream a lot, though, buddy. We're getting you path to affiliate. We're going to make you grow. Even if you don't make a lot of money like I don't, I don't care. Money's not everything. I just want us, I just want us to grow. Plus, I want to be able to do this. I want to be able to raid. Send all my people to you guys. 
send have you send have them send love whenever I get a bunch of subs have them drop a bunch of my emotes in your chat stuff like that that's all I care about enjoy some world of Warcraft everyone take care for anyone who cares say hello for me Zero, you don't have to. I know you're not really, you don't really watch a lot of streams, but if you care, feel free to check them out. He's actually one of Tyrus, ba uh, Tyrus Bane's friends. And Tyrus Bane's an awesome dude, so. Have a good one. <laughs>